Okay guys, I'm at it again. Um, I found some uh, fascinating results. It's kind of puzzling me. Um, just very interesting to me. Um, from uh, Gary here, he wanted me to take uh, the one of my rotor and coil windings and pulse it and then uh, take the output of my uh, high voltage output coil and rectify it and feed it back into my coil. Uh, I was trying to think of what I should do um, with that if I did it. And I thought, well, I'll try charging the capacitor. Um, and I got some interesting results here. So right now, I'm running my uh, pulse width modulator here uh, into one, uh, one winding of this rolling coil. Um, the other side of my rolling coil is open right now. There's nothing hooked up to it. Okay, the output coil here on the fancy rodent coil sure that uh, I got that hooked up to a rectifier um, then I've got the output of my rectifier and I'll be charging a capacitor with it now what uh, what Gary here wants me to try is uh, feeding my output back through my coil so I thought I'd try to charge a capacitor with it and without it um, right now um, my uh, input to my rodent coil is uh, uh, what? Mm, eight, eight volts. It's kind of fluctuating there, just a hair. Um, and my input amperage is seventy. Well, we'll call it seventy. Oh, it's jumping around pretty good. We'll call it eighty milliamp. And um, my output voltage of my rectifier is eleven hundred volts DC. That's on the DC side. Now, what I'm going to do is take this uh, over here and hook it up to my cap so you can see the voltage across my cap only okay so the voltage across my cap is five volts um, my input went down actually um, it's kind of strange I guess my meter is affecting it pulling a little load um, my voltage uh, into my rodent coil is about the same about eight volts just a little under actually now I'm going to uh, short out the cap here. Okay, my voltage is at uh, zero in my cap. Now I'm not going to change anything. The only thing I'm going to do is hook up uh, the capacitor to charge it directly out of my rectifier. Like I said, I'm only using one input coil here right now. So I'll go ahead and hook it up now. Okay, you can see the voltage climbing. I'm not going to edit this so you can see how long it takes to get to, uh, I don't know, let's just say 200 volts. You can watch my amperage input. It's dropping. The amperage input is actually uh, something interesting to look at as well. Uh, so my voltage input went up to 11 volts. You guys can time this on your, uh, on your own as far as how long it takes. Okay. Let's just get to 200 volts and then I'm going to disconnect it. Alright, 200 volts. Okay, I disconnected the capacitor. My amperage went back down, voltage went back down. Uh, you can see it's discharging slowly, probably through the amp meter. Okay, I'm going to short this capacitor out so it showed you that it charged. Pretty good pretty good spark there okay now this time I've got the output of my rectifier going through the second coil on my rodin here um, and what's fascinating about this is that the voltage climbs tremendously faster and the amperage is actually a little lower than what it is uh, regularly so here you go I'm gonna short that out again it's kinda climbing it's probably trying to charge up there Okay, here we go. I'm going to hook this up and let you guys time it again. Ready? Go. Oh my. You can see my amperage went actually down. Um, I'm going to shut this off here. Boom! Okay, 200 volts. It charged up to 200 volts that quick. Versus the first time I did it, which was probably what? 30 seconds or more? Um, and it's discharging it. Now I'm going to show you charged up 200 volts. Okay, I'm back down. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up uh, hook it up 
See, I'll just hook it up standard. Here you go. Not through the rodent coil. Okay, you can check out the voltage charging. Um, see how slow it is? Now I'm going to hook it up to my the other output of my rodent and watch the voltage climb up. That quick. I'm going to hook it back up without the rodent coil. See, it's climbing, but it's not very fast. I'm going to hook it up through the rodent coil. See how much faster it climbs. This is a 250 volt cap. It's a uh, 200 microfarad. I'm going to go ahead and short this cap out again. Okay. So, interesting results there. I'm going to get some close-ups of the amp meter for uh, with with the rodent coil hooked up through the uh, output of my coil. My output coil here. See if you can see both of the voltage and the input here. Okay. So right now I'm at about 8 volts at uh, 70 milliamps. So I'm going to hook it up now. Okay, my voltage is actually lower. Um, it's steadily climbing, but last time I did this it was over 11 volts and the uh, amperage just went down. Check it out, it's already charged. I'm going to have this thing, it's going to blow up on me. So once again, I'll just, uh, I'll run through this again real quick. You can watch the video over one of the two. So I've got my output of my pulse width modulator running through one bit of the coil here. Uh, one, uh, one winding of my rolling coil. And then my high voltage output here, this coil I've wrapped the rodent on, through a DC rectifier. Okay, the DC rectifier goes back through the other winding of the rodent and then to the capacitor. It charges in like, I don't know what, a fifth, tenth of the time? I don't know. You guys have to calculate the time out. But, uh, see if I can get the whole thing in here, you can see it. I'll do that again. Again, I'm not editing this footage. This is straight up. Uh, let's see here. Let me move this over so you can see it. Okay, I'm going to hook it up without the rodent coil. This is just uh, from the output directly to the capacitor. See my voltage here. Kind of hard to see. Again, look how slow it's climbing. And the milliamp eighty, what, one hundred and eighty milliamps? So it's it's taking considerably amount longer. A whole lot. I'm gonna go ahead and just disc. Well, I'll let it run to two hundred here. Okay, we're at 200 volts DC through my capacitor. I'll go ahead and short it out. That was a good one. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the uh, capacitor through the rodent coil again. Watch the voltage of the cap. Go. Check it out. It's almost at 200 200 amp or excuse me 200 volts already. My milliamp rating is a lot lower than it was without that. Check it out. I'm going. I'm climbing way above it. I'll let it. I'll let it see how high it'll go here. I can only go to uh, 250. That's what it's rated at. So you can see it. Oh, I'm at 250. That's good enough. All right. I'll go ahead and short it out. So anyway, thanks Gary for that idea. I thought that was pretty fascinating. Uh, I got a lot of other things I'm going to try, um, so I'm trying to just take the good ideas that I think would uh, it's going to be interesting to watch and see and uh, try those out. Some of the other ideas that people are giving me uh, keep them coming, but uh, I got to pick and choose because I'm limited on time. So I think my 10 minutes is about up. Uh, keep uh, keep shooting it at me. Hopefully I can get some rodents wrapped on those coils. I'm going to wrap a uh, an April wind and a standard rodent coil on both of these and see the difference, the same situation here. So that'll be pretty fascinating. Alright, see you guys.